Hello, welcome to this uh, documentary on my uh, art business. I've just sent some flyers out to uh, promote commissions. Yes, uh, I'm going to be doing portraits and landscapes. The phone is going to ring any moment. Any moment. <laughs> Here's a prospective client now. Hello, Jason's Paintings, how may I help you? Yes, 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 landscapes, seascapes, portraits, um, forestscapes, uh, settiescapes, um, yes. <laughs> oh, you want a family portrait doing of how many people? 20? Cool, that's a big family. Yes, I can do that. Yes, it'll be Five million per head. What do you mean that's a lot of money? No, I don't take a check. Whew, God, checks. I can't take checks. It's okay though. I'm sure I'll get more phone calls. Lots of people want paintings. Oh. Hello, Jason's Paintings. How may I help you? Yes, we do landscapes, seascapes, Portraits, uh, mountainscapes, um, telephonescapes. You want a portrait? Yes. <laughs> uh, what, uh, an animal portrait, pet portrait. Yes, I love doing pet portraits. They're fantastic. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely love it. Oh, what is it? A parrot. Oh, yes, a parrot. That's fantastic. I've got lots of cadmium red I need to use up. Oh, Green parrot? Oh, damn. No, I'll take it, I'll take it, but, um, yes, 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 five million. Five million, yes. That does include the frame, yes, yes, it's a bargain. You're in? Great, I only accept cash. Fantastic, yes, just wheel the wheelbarrow round full of cash and that'll be fine. Okay, see you later, bye. I knew the leaflets would work. Hello, Jason's Paintings? Oh, <laughs> Mr. Producer! <laughs> How are you? What do you mean you couldn't get through? It was engaged for two hours. Uh, no, I haven't been pretending to get phone calls for two hours. Oh, yes, you've got a challenge for me. <laughs> so I won't mess around on the phone anymore. Oh, uh, well, what's the challenge? A sunset. Hmm, a sunset. Not the typical sunset. Well, I like the sound of that challenge, Mr. Producer. And may I say, I always enjoy your calls. Uh, yes, I'll make sure the phone isn't off the hook next time. Maybe I uh, knocked into it earlier and it fell and was off the hook. It wasn't because I was messing around on the phone. Hello? Hello? Oh, he's gone. Over to the other angle. So here we have a scene at the Lake District. It's actually a photo I took a while ago and uh, I've been thinking I wanted to paint this. And I'm on a bit of a painting roll. <laughs> Enjoying myself. So I thought, well, well, might be a good time to give this a go. I'm thinking, I do have a bit of a tint of a crimson or something. So I might, here's my palette, <laughs> my plate. <laughs> and I got this when I was in London. Watch that on there. It's a uh, gouache, this. Uh, Violet Quinacridone. <laughs> Pretty sure it's not called that. But um, who knows what it's called. It's some sort of a, a reddish, a reddish crimsony colour. It's good enough for me. Oh, there's some water on this. I'll just mop that up a bit. Because I washed my palette a little bit. 
There we go, that's better. Now I can paint, finally. <laughs> So I'm thinking, get the sky going. It's that sort of a, a violety colour. That kind of blows out there, but I don't think I'll blow that out on my picture. That's the good thing about painting, isn't it? We can do whatever we like, and we can make our bad photos into something a bit better. <laughs> so let's get some of this. Ooh, that's good. Bit of the Prussian blue in with it. So that's quite a strong colour, isn't it? Too strong for what we want, though. But the white tones it down. Quite like that. That's going to tint our paper nicely. So let's have a go at this. Just using some grey card. I like using the old grey card. So I might start there. to be a bit stronger down this bottom part along here. Maybe a bit more though. Oops. Not that much. Went into way too much of the uh, <laughs> strong red on my palette. It's a bit of an experiment, I quite like that. And then what I'm going to do is go into a bit of this yellow and white. do back into the reddish colour with the yellow and red I can uh, kind of bleed this in to that bit as well. Okay. 
get some more of that, that purpley colour just to melt in. Something like that. And what I need to do as well, actually, while that's uh, not quite dry, a few of these on there. here as well. So I've got that there then do that horizon there as well. Something like that. <laughs> We're not doing it exact, I'm just using that picture as a reference for the idea for the lighting and things. I'll do so far, I think we'll dry that a bit. Okay, now I think I'll start painting in some mountain colour, some sort of a brown and yellow ochre. Maybe mix it in with this. Bit blue. Sort of a faded kind of greeny, browny. My work to start it off anyway. Sort of a faded colour. We don't want a bit to be too dark. So, we've got some clouds there that we need to put in. And that goes around like that. into a little bit of a, a bluish colour. Just to send that one back a bit. Going into some white and a bit of a bit of the blue at the base. Just I kind of missed it a bit. And then we can start pulling areas out. Just gonna dry that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, grab a bit of the brown, just throw it in with this mixture. A bit of the blue. for a bit darker so I can so we can see that area there a bit better. Just 
just use my finger to soften the base of it. Have that going to about there. Maybe a little bit of a yellow ochre and green tint there. to the uh, light. Okay, we'll just see what happens to that as <laughs> it dries. Okay, so now what I need and some more of this light. A bit more of this light colour. Too much yellow there. That's all right. And I can smooth that away. a nice uh, sky. We'll leave that to uh, dull <laughs> as it dries. While, we, while that's drying, can you see that now? So I'm getting some of the red and the blue. 
So it's Prussian blue and, and then it's like a violet really. Might put a tiny bit of burnt umber in it. <coughs> this can be our shadow colour for the cloud. So we've got a cloud here. Interacting white <laughs> just to uh, bring it Some really light, some white and yellow, quite light now. I'm going to blast the side of this.
using my uh, thing, finger again just to just soften things a little bit. Guy. Now we could do with coming forward, deciding. I might change this. I don't really like the uh, don't really like the the solid wall. Anyway, while we think about it, we'll. Uh, Put in the base colour of grass. Get some of the yellow ochre and the green. Yellow ochre and green, that'll do. It's always amazing when you, know, you put something like a bit of a foreground element, how everything just goes backwards. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? How now everything's gone further away. So I'm going to need a dark. sort of a blacky, bluey, browny colour. So I've got is some brown, <laughs> some crimson and some blue to make our dark. To make it less dark, just putting a bit of white. Maybe some burnt sienna. Yeah, I quite like that colour. So where are we going to use that? You're wondering. <laughs> well, you're probably not wondering. Probably already know. We've got a few of these trees here. I'll just use this brush to tap some in. So I'm using this brush dry, this is a dry brushing technique.
just need to make a bit more paint. See, this is the not so dry brushing technique. <laughs> Works for certain areas, and then you can uh, come back with this sort of. Uh, what we might do, knock some of the paint off. Put a few distant ones in there. to show different ways to do it though. So we've got a uh, tree there, we can put that in. Just loading the brush. Loading it, just spinning as you uh, load, so you go through the paint, just to show you. Quite a lot of paint, and then just go through it, and spin, spin away. So there's a few little details I can put in. This as well. It's a bit too samey. There we go. Right, let's put this big tree in here. quite a lot of branches there. And we get to a point where we think, eh, that'll do it. It's quite far away. And then we can pull some of this, like that. No way am I going to be able to paint all those in. <laughs> so 
so I could pull a bit of colour at the ends. Okay, I'll do. change the angle of it a bit <laughs> but I don't mind that dry this paint is. So now, uh, hmm, okay, let's get rid of that. So now what we need to do, dry that. <clears throat> so I'm gonna pick up a little bit of, uh, a little bit of this bluey, yellowy, and some white. So I get a bit of a gray. Sort of a greeny, that's a bit too greeny, I'd say. That's better, a bit more to the blue. I'm gonna uh, create a few rocks using that. The spraying technique, just hit some of this area. the areas that I don't want it to affect.
now I'm just gonna put a few light light spots on these rocks in places. Maybe there's a bit of a fence there and a post stuck to that wall. Something like that. I don't want to do too much detail. Now getting my yellow. yellow. Bit of yellow ochre. Bit of yellow. Bit of white. Bit of green. some of this light it's probably a little too light and maybe that's better the green and what I want to do is try and make, get that to dry first actually So what I'm doing is breaking the colour up a bit.
quite work there, so I'm going to get rid of that. green a bit duller and I'll just let that dry a bit have a little bit of a lighter Okay, quite like that. Still think um, what I need. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? You, you just constantly see stuff and you think, oh, I could do this, I could do that, I could change this. Still think a post is better there than not there. And a few things growing. I think I'll call that one finished. It's quite a nice little scene actually, I quite like it. Wouldn't mind walking through there. <laughs> Looks quite peaceful. Maybe I could put a couple of little birds in the sky. there. So yeah, we'll uh, call this one finished. Yep, 
yeah, we'll call this one finished, otherwise I'll uh, start doing more and more and more. <laughs> There's always a feeling of wanting to do more, isn't there, when you're painting? I know there is for me. So I'm looking at it, I think it could do with a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is do the old flicky trick again. I want the flicks on the grass. That's a bit of a disaster, so I'm going to do this. <laughs> Just to cover that area up while I do that. Uh, just gives it a little bit more texture, so I'm happier now. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, that'll be fine. I hope you enjoyed that episode. If you'd like to click on one of these, you might enjoy these videos as well. Um, I've got someone on the line, another portrait commission. Um, yes, uh, also don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and... Um, and sorry, I've got to take this. Yes, um, yes. You would like a double landscape with mountains, a moose. When you say moose, do you mean a pudding? No, no, I, I understood it was the animal. I was only joking. <laughs> Yes. Oh, sorry. Uh, my fans would like to speak to me. So thanks very much for watching this episode, and I'll see you in another one. Bye. Yes, yes, yes. We'll say 10 million. Yes, 10 million. <laughs>